Alright, guys, so, um, so, my Cessna crashed. Um, I didn't get on film, but, uh, so, let me just basically tell you how it happened, I guess. So, I was flying at the field, it was a good day. We were, found a new little runway on that grass strip you've probably seen. Um, and I was, I did a touch and go on it, and what I did was I gave it full throttle, um, you know, like a normal touch and go, once you get on the ground so you can get back in the air, and with the flaps down, you know, this thing will pull up a ton, um, so, um, yeah, it did that, and the, you know, the torque effect is, like really great when you're at a high angle of attack and a low airspeed um so yeah the torque effect was just so great on this thing that it went kind of into a uh like I, so i hit the ground i went up and the torque effect made it go like this so i was banking right but i was stalling at the same time so i couldn't like and you know like when you're you don't have enough airspeed flowing over your controls, they don't work. So I'm struggling for control, like super low to the ground. And then when I finally get enough airspeed to get control, I'm heading straight for a hill that's right here. There's a hill and then like a bunch of trees and then a gym behind it. So I come up and I pull up just in time. I'm going like straight up and then uh, it's like starting to stall. You can see it in my wing clips the tree and I think you can tell it hit it right there I clipped the tree and I thought I was gonna be able to recover from it but then it was still stalled and it just went right down the, into the gym so yeah this plane it has it it stalls at a f very low airspeed but when it does it stalls pretty bad and it's not very good not very easy to recover, especially if the flaps are down. You're going to be going way slower. But it's actually not that much damage. Um, just these things came, the wings separated right here. So I'm re-gluing these back in. Still have to do that one. And then uh, just the struts came out, which I can re-glue back in. Um, really peculiar about this one, though. Instead of coming off the wing like where it's glued in, the epoxy was so strong that it actually broke that thing right there, and this piece was still stuck in the wing. So I had to screw that back in, but apparently that was pretty strong. My prop got pretty dinged up here. I don't know if I can still use it. It'll just be really unbalanced, I guess. And I guess my elevator got bent a little, but... Other than that, this thing is pretty durable. That was a pretty bad crash, and I guess that's what trainers are supposed to be like. And I guess my nose wheel got a little bent down here, but I'll fix that. So hopefully I'll get it glued and back up in the air, and hopefully I'll be able to fix that one soon too, because I need to get that one flying.